Hi and welcome to this week's web design video blog. You may remember a few weeks ago we did a video on CSS3 text shadows and asked if it was time to start using them yet. Another impressive and eagerly anticipated CSS3 update is the ability to use multiple backgrounds on a single HTML element. Like text shadows, not many people realise that CSS3 multiple backgrounds are now supported by Firefox, Safari and Chrome, leaving only Internet Explorer. However, with CSS3 multiple backgrounds being supported in the upcoming release of Internet Explorer 9, it's worth learning how efficient the new feature can be. So to demonstrate, I've set up this simple HTML page which is available to see live on our supporting blog post. It's a scrap of paper um, in a div and it has a real text nursery rhyme over the top. Now, providing the amount of text that appears in this uh, div doesn't change, we don't actually have to use multiple backgrounds, we could just stick with the same background image. But if we wanted to use this space um, for perhaps like latest news or something that's rotating, the height of the piece of paper may need to adjust. So this is where CSS3 multiple backgrounds can come in handy. If you were to refresh the page, you'll see that a different nursery rhyme will load. And in this case, the nursery rhyme is uh, longer, so that the page needs to adjust in height. Now, usually to do this with CSS2, you'd have to probably use up to three nested div elements, whereas CSS3 um, multiple backgrounds allows you to define all three backgrounds on one single div. So here's the CSS here, which again is available to copy and paste on our supporting blog. And if you look at the div for the paper, it's all contained in a single div with the ID of paper. And this essentially defines the background image at the top, which is the top part of the paper in the pushpin, the middle part, which is repeated on the y-axis, which is the vertical background, and then the third background image is the bottom of the paper, where it is torn off. So what you can, what you usually have to do with three uh, divs in CSS2, you can now do with one in CSS3. If you choose to use CSS3 multiple backgrounds in your coding, and we should point out that not many people are yet, you have to consider how your website is going to display for people using Internet Explorer 6, 7 or 8. Your multiple background declarations will be ignored on Internet Explorer, which could drastically affect the presentation of your website. If, however, your multiple background images are subtle, like thin shadows or rounded corners, for example, then you may be able to get away with them not being noticed. So, in our opinion, CSS3 multiple backgrounds are great. They give the ability to apply and position multiple images to liquid HTML elements without complicated workarounds of nesting. But unless you're prepared for the incompatibility with Internet Explorer, we'd sit on this one for a while.